No, I love you guys over there for that. That you guys don't ever stick. I don't even have to like, you know. Oh, I'm so appreciative of that. Thank you very much for like always supporting us, and I appreciate you. But right now, listening live, rhythm up, soca entanglement. G987 FM, the way we groove, this is the Enforces, and we have on the air a rising soca star. Born in Trinidad, raised in the U.S., a true stage boss and the female lead vocalist of the big band, Request Band, out of New York City. Leonce, welcome to the Soca Group. Hello, hello, hello. How to, hello to everybody out there. Pleasure. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me on. Yes, it's a pleasure to have you. So, so <laughs> Let, let's start from uh, the beginning and um, let's talk about the theme of influences. So um, let's discuss your father's past as a promoter, I, I believe, and yeah, uh, yeah. and how that influenced your career in Soka. Well, you know, my dad, my dad is a strong believer in, um, you know, education and getting a good education and all that stuff. I guess, you know, at, at his point in his life, you know, that was his thing. Yeah. Um, you know, being in the entertainment world and, you know, um, I guess, you know, when I guess at, at that point in his life, I guess it could have been just economics, you know, him basically just trying to gain more finance. Right. Um, whereas it being an influence, probably because I was always around a lot of entertainers and, you know, when I was little, I would see, you know, I, I've been through the whole stages. I've been through knowing what a sound check is, knowing what the rehearsals is like. I've seen, I've seen it all. Yeah. But at that point in time, again, my father is really a strong believer in education. So it really wasn't that aspect for me. So being that I'm following him and he's molding me, I don't see myself doing it yet. Right. You know, me running around singing like as a little girl, that's a normal thing. Yeah. But basically when all, you know, all you're getting beat in your head is, okay, well, you know, you got to get a good education. You got to go to school, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. That wasn't no big force. Right. You know, it's only when I, got older and you know people was telling me you know you should really try it. you should really do it and I was like okay you know I, I even had to coax him to understand well hey I want to try this and see if I could do it yes yeah. and you know what I mean so that's probably you know how I could say it was an influence but it really wasn't right if right. you get what I'm saying I hear you so what do you think yeah. was that what do you think was that uh, watershed moment where you said yes this is for me I think the idea of being on stage was a big thrill, but I think the preparation was a, a, a big moment for me. Like, you know, you, I, I get to see for yourself that you are actually preparing to go on the stage yeah. and the preparation of having to do rehearse, rehearsals, the sound check, like this was real, like this is serious. So, this was the time of like, okay, I think I want to really do this for real, real, yes. you know? Yes. Cause being on stage is one thing. It's cool. It's, it's nice. I love it. Um, but that's the end result that you guys see compared to what, you know, what we do in, you know, behind the scenes, that's just the end result, yes. you know? So preparing preparation was like the key, the key for me, you know, so last time we spoke, we touched on, request ban and how you got involved and all that. So I'm going to fast forward to just pre pandemic, uh, going to Trinidad for carnival and having the opportunity to perform with uh, blacks and the all stars and um, not ask you how that happened, but more. So uh, how did that experience contribute to your development as an artist? Well, the more, it's like riding a bike, right? Yeah. Being yeah. A, it's like riding a bike, the more you do it, the better you become. Yeah. And I'm basically, you know, being with Request Band, when I first got the offer to tour with the All-Stars, you know, the first thing I was like, um, well, I, I didn't, they didn't ask me, but I said, I said, I'm not leaving my band. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not leaving. <laughs> you know, um, this is, you know, Request Band is like, you know, this is my home. And it's like everything that, everything that you guys see is what I've learned. Yes. You know, what I've learned to becoming the artist that, you know, that I am and becoming the artist that I would like to be. And through um, Reza himself trying to just, you know, teach me every certain aspect of, of this craft is everything that you see. That, I mean, that's as, as plain as I could explain it. Right. Being with the All-Stars now, you get other different types of training. Now, it's a different band, different style, you know, uh, different people, different personalities. You learn, you pick up the same way. Yeah. Um, I think the experience was such a good one. It was so fast. 
um, throughout the whole season, it may felt like it was long, but it, it was approximately almost two months. Yeah. And um, I must say that I learned a lot with them. Yeah. I, I met a lot of people. And um, again, the amount of shows that I had and doing so many shows like per night, it was an experience. And I do have to respect a lot of, um, you know, well-known artists, you know, you know, the bigger artists, I like to say bigger, but you know what I mean? Yes. On more renowned artists, you just have to tip your hat off to them to, and show them that respect because the type of work that they have to do, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And me just toying with the all stars, you know, for that show and I'm on the top of it. <laughs> it was, it was a great experience. I enjoyed every moment of it. It was hard. Yeah. You know, as a female, sometimes you're tired and right. the amount of things I had to do just to get ready. Yes. Men don't have to do that. Right. You know, yes. but hell of an experience. I, I, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm so happy about it. Excellent. Excellent. So now let's talk about your uh, 2021 hit, uh, Soka Entanglement. Let's get into the entanglement. Uh, big, big song that's out and the video's out with big uh, cameo appearances, all kind of thing. Uh, talk about yeah, yeah, how, yeah. how that came together. Um, so kind entanglement, it was actually, the rhythm was given to me by, um, the, um, uh, the band leader of, um, World Stars. Okay. And it, I really didn't know at first well, where he got the rhythms from. And then, and then the keyboardist in the band, his name is Michael. He's a Bayesian. Yes. And he was like, yo, those are my rhythms. I was like, oh, well, I like, I like all of them. I said, I'm going to pick one though. Yeah. So you know, we started going through all the rhythms and, and, and Riz and I liked this particular rhythm because uh, the, the tones, everything about it was nice and bouncy, was modern. I like, I, we just like the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And Reza, um, he said, okay, I'm going to write something for you. I was like, okay, because he, he was going to, you know, vibe on it as well for himself. Yeah. Then he said, he said, Leon, you know, I actually, I write this song, but it's not for me, it's for you. I was like, okay, you know, let's listen to it. So when I started listening to the lyrics, I was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I like it. Yeah. But the, the, the titling of this song did not come about yet. Eh? The titling of this song came about when I, I was done recording. Engineering was, was already done, finished. Um, it was in the process of trying to get artwork done and, you know, trying to make it look nice, you know, to, 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 to release it. And I was like, you know, we do not have a name yet. And he, I was like, well, he said, we're not going to name it Hook Up. I was like, well, what else to name it? And he was like, now nah, we're going to name the Soka Entanglement. I was like, um, uh. <laughs> I said, Riza, no way, no, that can't work. <laughs> he was like, why? I was like, you know what entanglement means? You know what this, you know, where it derives from? You know, yes. it, it, it could be twisted and it could be shaped in a lot of different things. And I didn't want to be looked at as like, you know, I didn't want to be looked at in a bad light. Right. He was like, listen, if we don't start taking risks, if you don't want people to start turning heads with you, you have to take these risks. And I was like, you know what? I didn't even sleep on it. I didn't think about it. When he just told me that, I was just like, you know what? It's all right. Let me go. I mean, what could it hurt? You know, yeah, what, right. could, what could happen? And the song came about... Um, the, um, the vision of the video, I had, I just projected it to the videographer and he just, he did his thing. Yeah. Um, the cameos, you know, problem <laughs> child is my homeboy. <laughs> bigger, bigger problem child, yeah, man, family. Yeah. He's my homeboy and um, we wanted a male model and I was like, you know, problem child and I are, we are in the pro um, process of doing certain things, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, music wise. And, and I was like, I just called him. I was like, um, hey, uh, I want you to be in my video. Um, it's going to be so-and-so time. He was like, all right, cool. Just let me know when. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, me and him is just, you know, we, you know, we talk about a lot of things. So I, it wasn't like, you know, I had to call him and request it. It wasn't like that. It was just like, hey, I need you to do this to me and whatever. And, I, and that was basically it. Yeah. And again, being on a budget in this pandemic time, yeah. you know, we had to make it as tight knit as possible. You know what I mean? So I didn't have a lot of people in it. And then, you know, Reza was saying, even the videographer was saying, you should just focus on you. 
yeah. you know, yourself yeah. in a video. You know, yeah. of course, I had a dancer, big up K Love. Um, that's my darling. That's that's my that's also my homie. I just had to call her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she was, you know, I needed a dancer in it because I'm not a dancer. I need somebody to actually, you know, mm -hmm. you know, basically. And that was basically it. Um, it took a lot of hard work. It's my first video for 2021. I do have some, I do have, I'm working on some other stuff, but um, it was, it was again, you know what I'm saying? It was hard is because being, being that we not working as much yeah, and the money's not coming in. Yeah. And remember we live in, in, you know, in New York city, we don't have sponsors. We got to, you know, fork all this money out of our pockets. So right. again, say it was difficult, but we got it done. Yes. Yes. You know, we still have to put music out there for the people. I mean, the pandemic is going on, whatever, whatever. But basically, we still had to bring something, you know, forth, you know, for people, for people to still hear us, people to still see us, you know, that type of way. Yes, yes. I applaud all the artists for that, actually. It's an, uh, amazing that everybody's still putting out music and, and doing their thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard work, especially when you're not getting it. You're not getting yes. anything back, yes. you know, yes. except for stream and stuff like that, you know, but it's not the same as when you're touring. Yes. Yes. Well, we really appreciate you your know? time, Leon. So if uh, you can let our listeners know how they can keep up to date with you on social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on, you know, a lot of people tell me that I'm on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm still on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Snap. I'm on Twitter. Leon's RQB. L-E-O-N-C-E-R-Q-B. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>